Hello friends, this is Homer Knox of MenTeachingMen.com. In this video, we're going to be studying divorce, divorcio. The New American Standard and King James Version Bibles will be used for a scripture translation in this video. Divorce. This is a difficult subject. We will try to focus on God's Word with some short observations. This teaching on divorce only pertains to husband-wife, man-woman relationships. The meaning of divorce, divorcia, the legal dissolution of a marriage by a court or other competent body. The word divorce is used in the Bible approximately 18 times. Little usage of a word with such enormous impact. A review of marriage contract covenant. When we get married, we are not signing a contract as with a car or any other purchase agreement. We are entering into a covenant with another person. We know from life that marriage is not for everybody. The single life as well as marriage can be both rewarding. It is estimated that 50% of the marriages in the U.S. fail. The rate is even higher for second and third marriages. God's instruction for marriage. The marriage covenant initiated by God. Relationship changes from me to us. Number three, promises are exchanged. Number four, involves forgiveness. Number five, not easily broken. Number six, one man, one woman, one lifetime. Genesis 2.24, therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. One flesh, inseparable, together on earth forever, both a physical and a spiritual concept, uniting two whole and separate people into a new God-designed and God-purposed life. Divorce is a violent separation of what God has joined together and was not part of God's original plan for mankind. Order of God's commandments to man. Notice the order of the first commands by God. Number one, Genesis 128, be fruitful and multiply. Number two, Genesis 2.16, do not eat of the tree of life. Number three, Genesis 2.24, man shall cleave to his wife. Be fruitful, do not eat, cleave. The perfect marriage. There are many excellent marriages, but this is not always the case. Since the divorce rate is so high, there are so many just acceptable and poor marriages. God's view of divorce. Malachi 2.16 for I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel, and him who covers his garment with wrong, says the Lord of hosts. So take heed to your spirit and do not deal treacherously. Well, that's pretty clear, isn't it? We are going to see that there are circumstances where this blanket condemnation of all divorce is not applied. Moses permitted divorce. Deuteronomy 24 verses 1 to 4. When a man takes a wife and marries her, and it happens that she finds no favor in his eyes because he has found some indecency in her, and he writes her a certificate of divorce and puts it in her hand and sends her out of his house. Indecency means nakedness, shame, uncleanness. The man has to have a cause for divorce. This is a difficult verse. Why the change from no divorce? One possible reason might be that when Moses wrote this, women in many circumstances were treated poorly as property. Probably this was added for the protection of the wife or children from abuse. Ezra, Jews take heathen wives. After settling in the promised land of Canaan, many Jewish men marry heathen women against God's command. The people confess their sins and make a commitment to divorce the heathen women. Ezra 10, 2-3 We have been unfaithful to our God and have married foreign women 
from the peoples of the land. Yet now there is hope for Israel in spite of this. So now let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives and their children. This is a very interesting verse. This is a decision with bad options. Which is the worst option? What would you do? Jesus explains this divorce exception. Matthew 19, 8 to 9. Because of your hardness of heart, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it has not been this way. And I say, whoever divorces his wife except for immorality and marries another commits adultery. Jesus teaches that immorality is a cause for divorce. Immorality, harlotry, adultery, or incest. All three of these causes are sexual in nature. Jesus also clarifies marrying another person after a divorce. Luke 16, 18. Everyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. And he who marries one who is divorced from a husband commits adultery. The Apostle Paul's view on divorce. 1 Corinthians 7, 10 to 11. But to the married I give instructions, not I, but the Lord, that the wife should not leave her husband. But if she does leave, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband, and then the husband should not divorce his wife. Many church denominations take the following position on divorce. If you are married and you cannot live together, separate. But the church would never counsel divorce. The Samaritan woman at the well. Jesus dealing with divorce. John 4, 7 to 26. After this woman expresses interest about Jesus' teaching on living water. John 4, 16 to 18. He, Jesus, said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have correctly said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and one whom you now have is not your husband. This you have said truly. Wow, five husbands, living with one not married. It is not listed how in this passage, but Jesus deals with her sin, the divorce issue. He continues to minister to her to the point of declaring himself to be the Messiah. How wonderful, Jesus cleanses the divorce issue and continues to love and minister to the Samaritan woman. What a great God we have who forgives our sins. Marriage reconciliation. Jesus has the ability to reconcile marriages in turmoil and create new love and appreciation for our spouses. Diligently seek Jesus in prayer and worship for your victory. Conclusions on Divorce Number one, take your time and seek God's will for a Christian marriage partner for your life. If you have concerns about your choice of marriage partner, wait until you have peace about this lifelong commitment. I'm not sure if I should marry this person. Then don't do it or wait. Number two, God hates divorce and warns us against it. Number three, divorce may only be sought for serious moral reasons. It should never be done lightly or frivolously. Number four, there could be circumstances where divorce is the only reasonable option. Abuse, sexual sin, other sins. Thank you, Jesus, that you have provided the holy institution of marriage. You have also provided forgiveness and restoration to those who have fallen short in your commands on marriage. Proverbs 5.18 Let your fountain be blessed 
and rejoice in the wife of your youth. Divorce, Divorcio. We pray that this teaching will be a blessing to you and will help you understand and appreciate this difficult subject. This video is dedicated to the honor of Pastor William and Viola Weaver, Halifax Community Fellowship, Halifax, PA. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again. You're a Christian. Welcome. Welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family. You're back in the fold. Welcome. Congratulations. There's another teaching on the menteachingmen.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved. And that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.